Hola, mis queridos. ¿Cómo estás, mi amor, Alicia? Hello, my, my kittens. How are you? My name is Allison, and today we are playing Nancy Drew Tomb of the Lost Queen Bonus Edition. Now, if you are actually wondering what the difference is between Bonus Edition and the regular game, <laughs> I'm actually not going to go into detail. <laughs> you will actually have to uh, watch the previous videos in the playlist in the playthrough just to fi just to figure out what the differences are because seriously it's a tedious uh, <laughs> but I am going to tell you that her interactive does their bonus edition a lot differently when it comes to uh, collector's edition and the hidden object games universe and I say universe because the collector's edition is a lot different that's when it's not her interactive because uh, when it's not her interactive it is the price of it is affordable usually if not there's like a sale going on and like it is never the original price if it is I mean it's because you know they're stickler they're sticklers for it anywho what is normally on those collector's editions are like wallpapers a soundtrack a concept art sometimes bonus chapter uh, extra achievements and sometimes little Easter eggs uh, little collectibles that you can do but with her interactive <laughs> it's limited and well another thing about the hidden the collector's edition in the hidden object games universe is that you can buy it at any time you can anytime you want whereas with her interactive the only way you can purchase a bonus edition is if you pre-order it once it is publicly released you can no longer buy it which is really unfortunate to those who collect every single Nancy Drew game, every single bonus edition of the Nancy Drew game series. <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> but fortunately, there is, if you don't have bonus edition, there is a way to access it with the games that actually do have the bonus edition within them. I don't know if all of the Nancy Drew games have the bonus edition access accessibility, but those that are from games number 22 at Trail of the Twister to number 32 at uh, Sea of Darkness. Those are all bonus edition and there is a way to access it. Hopefully I will be able to point it out during the gameplay of today's video. If not, I apologize. <laughs> Anywho, uh, I do want to mention her interactive bases all of their games except one. <laughs> On the Nancy Drew book series which is pretty cool pretty rad it actually helps people uh, it actually helps them bring in uh, Nancy Drew readers into the uh, computer games and whatnot because um, I know Nancy Drew is also on uh, o other consoles it's not just PC but I think those are different companies and not her interactive um, although her interactive has done a couple of mobile games uh, one of them is really glitchy and buggy. <laughs> but anyway, uh, if you are actually curious, this is a solo play of Tomb of the Lost Queen. I am doing a kind of a multiplayer of Tomb of the Lost Queen, but it's on hiatus right now. I keep forgetting to contact Gabriel Wolf. He is the guy that I'm doing the gameplay with for that series, for that playthrough. And he is actually the voice of Dylan Carter in Tomb of the Lost Queen, which is actually pretty cool, pretty hype. Uh, in fact, I think I might have a set of questions for him for our next recording, if we ever do recording. <laughs> Anywho, Tomb of the Lost Queen is based off of the BAM, Nancy Drew and Hardy Boy's Super Mystery Secrets of the Nile. Now, if you're wondering what a super mystery is, it is basically Nancy teaming up with the Hardy Boys in some fashion or form. <laughs> and it's actually really interesting when that happens because Nancy Drew is owned by a specific company. Um, originally, it was Grass and Dunlop, but now it's Simon & Schuster. But for them to do uh, super mysteries with the Hardy Boys, they actually have to contact the other company that does the Hardy Boys book series as well. They actually have to do that. So... That is why it is so hard to find the super mystery books out on the internet to find to get a copy yourself. Which is why I'm ex the reason why I'm explaining this is because there aren't any free copies that you can find to read on the internet. Unfortunately, I've tried. <laughs> uh, I think 
I think I can't I can't remember what the cheapest price was but I do remember uh, finding one copy on Amazon and it was like in the 30s yikes <laughs> Anywho, I will go into more details about the book at the end of the video. I do want to mention one, uh, actually two things. But uh, one is that Her Interactive likes to use recurring characters from previous Nancy Drew games because the fans love certain characters from certain games and they figured out like how to use those favorite characters in other games to kind of uh, help, not just help the plot, but also be like a little side character, side story, you know. Uh, for Tomb of the Lost Queen, our recurring character, well, we, we have two re recurring characters, really. Professor Hotchkiss from tr uh, Royal and Treasure in the Royal Tower, and Sunny June from Secrets of the Scarlet Hand. Sunny June is actually my personal favorite, <laughs> because he is more into aliens, uh, specifically the Anunnaki. And he actually has created an organization, we actually find that out in Tomb of the Lost Queen. That organization is called Spied. Strange Phenomenon Inspector's Extra Extraterrestrial Division. We are actually, if you have the bonus edition, you are actually able to call the Spide and get six different unique messages for each time you call. Um, I mean, not all six of them, but I mean, you know what I mean. It's actually really cool to have that kind of feature in the bonus edition. I love that. But uh, I think that's the only way we get a connection to Sunny June. Uh, well, no, there is another connection, and uh, that is a character named Jamila. Uh, she says she actually met Sunny, and that she's also met an Anunnaki. They have glorious silver bioluminescent fangs. Fangs. Good grief, woman. Okay. <laughs> Last but not least, I do want... Oh, right, I always forget to mention this. With every single Nancy Drew game you, you play... You have the option of getting two detective levels whenever you start a new game, and that is amateur and master. I'm not going to go into details of like the specifics for each le uh, skill level, but uh, there is basically a list here that tells you. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, if there's anything, anything in this video that does not look familiar, it is because you have not been keeping up. Please, please, please check the description box below. There's a previous video as well as the playlist. I recommend, I recommend the playlist because it will have everything that I've done so far with Nancy Drew, Tomb of the Lost Queen, bonus edition, and let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so we actually have three little bird blocks that actually goes up here. And Nancy did mention that now that we have all the pieces, we need to find out what the order is. We do know the mural. Uh, in fact, I'm going to show that to you. I took a picture of it so that I wouldn't have to go back. And it's this a baby right here. <sighs> um, did I actually write down the order? Because I always have a trouble figuring out, uh, like the the birds. I don't think I did. Liver snibbles. Okay. Well. Let's see if I can figure this out. I think the order is from top to top left to right, and then this way? I could be wrong. But let's try that. So uh, I'm not actually going to use the actual Egyptian names for them, <laughs> just because it's going to be difficult for me to remember all that. So let's do pelican. Um, woodpecker. I don't know. Uh, eagle. Um, vulture. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, what is this? Oh, that would have been the woodpecker. I guess this would be a sparrow. Ah, uh, okay, so... I guess... Um, considering the beak shape, I'm gonna say swan. 
and then duck because of the beak. The, it's hard to tell those two apart with when it's just like gold slabs. <laughs> and last but not least, I don't know what to call that bird. I'm just going to say long neck with two prongs. Did I just hear clay sliding? Alright, let us hope that is it. Uh, I do want to show this. Inside here is this little plaque that actually tells us the cat's name, was, which is Mezkinet. And the translation of that to English, uh, the, your, the, in, the native English, not American English, is Destiny. <sighs> yeah, I said that. And in here is the cat. We desecrated it because it had a little piece that we needed. <laughs> um, uh, I think that was about it in this tomb. I actually want to go over this task list real quick just because we're at the beginning uh, of the video. We haven't done anything yet. So, do we have all three Easter eggs? Yes, we do. Mysterious egg, uncanny egg, um, enigmatic egg. Nice name. Can't check that off. Still check. Have it. Still check. Can't check. Check. That's done. Haven't done that. About the new find. About the new find. Oh, yeah. Alright, so. Let's try. Um. For some reason I forgot what the pelican looked like. Uh, so it's the long beak here. Uh, the sparrow. Where is it? I think it would be this one. The eagle. A vulture, uh, the woodpecker, and I did say swan. Uh, shoot, where's the duck? duck Is that not it? All right, death scene. Egyptology facts. Egyptology is the study of ancient Egyptian history and culture from the 5th millennium BCE until 400 CE. Egyptology is also one of the least creative names for anything ever. It's just Egypt plus algae. Try harder scientists. Oh my gosh, I forgot these. Oh man, that was good. So, would it have been this one then? photo again. Yeah. So, I'm trying to figure out Which one would be the pecker? Oh. Well, yeah, no, it's this one. Because it can't be this one, because there's a, a tuft in front. And there is no tuft in front. Okay. 
We're good. This is this is correct. This has to be right. Um It could be that I switched these two. I mean, the wings on these two are different as well. This has the... Okay, and then... Alright. I'm clearly not getting this right. And I'm kind of wasting time, so... Uh... Frickin' doodles. It's driving me nuts that I'm doing this just because I can't remember for Pete's sakes. Hey Marvin, we are the voices in your head. Hey Marvin, when you go lay down to go to bed. Hey Marvin. Uh. I'll keep you up until you're dead. So listen closely to what you said. That song has been stuck in my head since Saturday. Um. Hey, Marvin. We have the voices in your head, hey Marvin. We you go lay down to go to bed, hey Marvin. I'll keep you up until you're dead, so listen closely to what you said. Alright. It's driving me nuts that I can't get this done. And it's driving me nuts that it's taking me this long. <laughs> Wait, this is the first bird? What the butts? I thought the first bird was one of these two. Alright, whatever. Um. Oh, right, because didn't she say it? I needed to go to the journal, the journal pages, uh, and we never did read those journal pages. Um, right, sorry, oh my gosh, I'm slow. So let's read these journal pages real quick before we continue on with the puzzle, because maybe that would have helped. <laughs> Alright, December 8th, Ooh, one day before my birthday. Those last 10 these last ten years since my search began, I followed every lead, only to find myself lost again and again. All hope of finding the lost queen vanished, only searing sand at my feet. I owe it to my mother's memory to find her soon. I owe it to my daughter and my husband to return home alive. I'm worried that I will be disappointing them all. December 16. This morning, just as I was stealing myself for another fruitless day of searching, we spotted something curious jutting out of the sand. A quick glance, and we knew that there was nothing natural about the formation. There, this was a tomb. We set to work immediately, bloody knuckles and aching backs unnoticed and untended in the excitement. By mid-morning, we had broken through the sealed entrance. The largest guide pushed past Sudi, Sudi to be the first to enter the tomb. He was a fool to blunder in as he did. There is now not bleh, there is not doubt of that. Still, he did not deserve to die for that foolishness. Yeah. I did not hear him call out. I hope for his sake he wasn't alive long enough to try. Yikes. That's kind of grim. December 20th. 
We are huddled in the dark. The wind howls outside. Since we have opened the tomb, the desert has become even less forgiving than usual. Violent sandstorms rise from nowhere, forcing us into the darkness of the tomb. The men have been mumbling to each other curses. Fair enough. Already we've lost one member of our team and most of our gear. I cannot waste what little lamp oil we have now to write for long. December 23rd. I know the queen is here! This morning the storms died and we were able to clear an opening large enough to let the light in. Dusted beams of the sun shattered the turgid... Is that really a word? The turgid darkness of the tomb for the first time in thousands of years. The color of the tomb, it was just like you said it would be. Brilliant white walls studded with gods, their faces bright as gems. I cannot believe that this is that this has been unknown since the time of Ramses II. At least I hope it was he who built this tomb. I hope to be relieved of this burden of the D.O.N. soon. D.O.N. D.O.N. What does that mean? Oh! Oh! I know what that means. I'm not going to spoil it. Oh, hey, here it is, here it is! Eight birds amongst a golden flock reveal the hidden way. Eight birds amongst a hunting scene reveal the hidden order. Held in the paws. Oh my gosh. Held in the paws. Roost, roosting in the reeds. Soaring on colored wings. Uh, perched high on the boat. Excuse me. I'm sure you heard that burp. Caught in the jaws. Flying above the reeds. Uh, flying above reeds. Uh, standing in the boat. I'm glad they drew that image because it would have driven me nuts. Waiting in the water. Alright, so. Let us look at the mural one last time because I think that will actually tell us which ones it is. So, and its paws would be this bird here. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, standing in the reeds would be this fella here. Soaring on colored wings would be this would be the eagle. High on the boat would be the vulture. Jaws would be the swan. Or well, the duck. Because when I looked at the image, it looks more like when I looked on the image of the gold uh, clays, it looked more like a s s duck than a swan. Uh, okay, flying above the reeds uh, would be this bird here, and then standing in the boat would be this bird here, and then waiting in the water. Oh. So standing in the reeds would be this bird, not this one. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so we know what birds to use now. So let's go ahead and hit the ones in the correct order. <laughs> Jeez, I can't believe I didn't read those journal pages. There we go. Whoa, look at that! Wait, what's this? Someone else has been down in these tunnels recently. Interesting. And it looks like, it kind of looks like two different types of shoes. Or maybe it's just one? No, it looks like two. Because this is different from... No, it's just one. This is a match to Lily's sunglasses. What was she doing sneaking around in the tunnels? 
And how does she even know about the tunnels? It wasn't even marked on her map. Which is now marked on her map. Nice. I feel like... Alright, well, I think that about covers it. Um, I do kind of want to talk to Bakum, but I realized the time. I probably should go ahead and say goodbye here, just because I know I'm going to talk quite a bit. Hi, Jamila. Uh, Alright, I do want to look at this real quick. Because it's closed now, which it wasn't before. Uh, well, I mean, I did notice it um, in the previous video, and I was like, oh, wait, I should probably check that out. Wait, no, we're already low on time. So, here's what I'm going to show you. Yeah. What? How could a mummy just appear like this? Oh, something is very wrong. Someone is staging the tomb, which is really weird. That shouldn't be happening. All right, so I'm actually going to stop here. Uh, I, I wanted to talk to Bakum, but clearly that's not going to happen here. Uh, just because I know I need to be um, talking about something else. I really was hoping to bring up... Well, I probably still can, just I have to be really quick about it. The the thing that I said, that you could, the, the way to access the... Um, the bonus additions for all those other games that I mentioned, including Two of the Lost Queen. Uh, it's a cheat menu, and the way to access that is Control, Shift, Tab, C. And if not that, it's Control, Shift, Tab. But it pretty much shows you everything there is on the cheats menu, and that goes off the screen. <laughs> there are four tabs that you can access to type in. Um, or even click on. Those are the things that will help you with if you are ever stuck within the game. Whether uh, glitches or um, just where you've gone past the story point and you realize you don't have the said item or said scene that you needed to continue the, sto the story or the game even. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's different for certain game. The, the way to, act to activate the bonus edition is different for each game. Uh, for well, not for each game, but for certain games. I wish I could tell you more about it. Um, I did wish I didn't hit. Okay. Um, crap. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hit no and just open. Okay. Uh, save again so I don't make a mistake. And I pretty much gotta say goodbye. I would talk about the book, <laughs> Secrets of the Nile, but I this we're basically on my outro time. So. <laughs> I hope I helped you out at least a little bit in this video. If not, I'm not doing my job. I love you all so much, my beautiful kittens and viewers, and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. If so, smash that like button like a kitten would. And if you're just now tuning into this channel and you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that ugly red subscribe button. Make it that beautiful gray as well as that bell icon right next to it. That will know value of all the videos that I do, which are on Wednesdays, 6 p.m. Central, and Sundays, 4.30 p.m. Central. I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. I am Sweet Rascally, Sweet Rascally Rabbit, saying goodbye, stay awesome, and stay on YouTube! Woo! I almost got it. Almost got it. I love you, my kittens. See ya.